When you are not clenched in the hand of your mystery illness, or weeping alone in fear of death, you are a shoeless child in the village. In an elementary school photo, black and white in the Chinese paper, your American daughter will see you had the same pseudo bowl cut you make her get as a child. <laughs> Until she decides all through middle and high school, she wants long hair because that's how girls look and what boys like. Before finding herself as a 20 something that doesn't care that you think she's fat and cuts her hair short again, a bob like a flapper or a dominatrix. You race past the shacks and shanties with the other children. We are looking for your cat. When you are twice the size you are now, still alive against all odds, even the professional wisdom of Western doctors, you will tell your American daughter when you first stepped off the plane, you could not believe how wide open the spaces, how big and tall the houses, and the cats, American cats, they are so fat. <laughs> Your cat was black with a white tummy, and you did not know your cat ate a poisoned rat. You turn your head at a desperate familiar mule and charge at the shack where your cat cries out for you and get there just in time for your cat to roll off the makeshift roof down into your arms, dead. And that, you tell your American daughter, is why you cannot bear having another pet. Thank you.